I got pregnant at age 35 with my first child. I was overjoyed to finally feel ready to be a mom and to have a partner who loved children and wanted to have a baby. My pregnancy was classified as high risk because of my advanced age. I spent a lot of time worrying about what could happen. One of the things that could happen did happen. In the 28th week of my pregnancy, I developed preeclampsia. I was placed on bed rest, but within a few days my condition had worsened. Both my baby and I were in danger, and the baby would need to come out ASAP. My partner had to travel from Caltag to Anchorage. We delayed my C-section for a couple of hours to give him time. My partner was present for the birth and actually watched when the surgeon cut me open. My partner was a huge support. I made him visit our baby in the NICU when I was still too drugged up to do so. I was feeling blissed out. I was going to be okay, and I had a new baby. Candace had thin red skin, monkey fur, and no fat whatsoever, but we thought she was beautiful. Four days after she was born, Candace blew a pneumothorax and needed emergency surgery. I was so scared my baby was going to die. She was placed on a ventilator. My partner didn't show how scared he was. His sister and some of our friends from Caltech came to visit us. I was a crying mess, but these people were able to be hopeful and happy for us. I also leaned on the doctors, nurses, chaplains, social workers, and parent navigators for support. They had faith that our baby would one day go home with us. Candace was on oxygen and was fed through a tube in her nose. I did kangaroo care, sitting skin to skin with my baby for hours every day. My partner did it too. This was surprisingly hard work. I also pumped my breast milk for my baby to eat 30 minutes every three hours. This was really hard work, but I wanted to do everything I could for my baby. The hardest part was saying goodbye every night and leaving her in the hospital. Over the course of 70 days, Candace gradually weaned herself off the oxygen and learned to eat on her own. She was ready to go home. Now, nearly 18 months old, she is really doing great, growing, learning, and showing her personality. I am so grateful to God, my partner, family and friends, and the staff of Providence Hospital who helped us get through this ordeal. I am so grateful that our baby has become a beautiful, healthy little girl.